What's up you guys, Steve here with your stimulus check update and stimulus package update, and we have got a lot to get caught up on today. So first up, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Veterans or Railroad Benefits, and you're among the 90% of those people on benefits still waiting to get that third stimulus check, we now have an official date from the IRS as to when you can expect to see that stimulus check hit your bank account. So I'm gonna be letting you know the latest on that and also, the fourth stimulus check. As you guys know, there's been a big push to get reoccurring monthly stimulus checks. Well, yesterday, Democrats in Congress made another massive push and they're trying to get it included in the next stimulus package. Speaking of which, today is the big day. That's right, today we're expecting President Joe Biden to unveil details of the next stimulus package, the infrastructure package known as the Build Back Better plan. We're expecting him to do this today in Pittsburgh around 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But of course, as you guys know how these things work, we already have a bunch of leaked details that came out today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys in today's video so that way you can know what to expect to see out of this next stimulus package. So we've got a lot to get caught up on. I'm gonna be diving into some articles, getting you caught up on the latest as of today, March 31st, 2021. But before we dive in, if you could do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, take a second to smash the like button, leave a comment saying hi, and also be sure to share out this video on social media platforms to anybody that you think might be interested. Those simple gestures, they just take a second and they help out the channel a lot. Thank you so much. And if this is your first time here and you're not already a part of the viewing community, the, the Ram fam, why don't you go ahead and join by hitting the subscribe button. I'll keep you up to date on stimulus, unemployment, Congress, the economy, anything having to do with investing or money. And be sure to turn on that notification bell so that way as soon as I upload, you can get notified right away. Follow me on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining the Patreon group to get exclusive access to me and these articles before they hit YouTube. And always remember that my comments here on YouTube will always have a gray stripe on the name. And if you don't see that, even if it looks like me, it's not me. So please use caution. There's scammers on here trying to steal your information, trying to pose as YouTube creators. I'm here to get you information, not here to steal it. I'll never ask for bank account information or leave random phone numbers in the comments. So with that being said though, let's get you caught up on the latest because there is a lot unfolding regarding stimulus, stimulus packages, and stimulus checks today. All right, so first up, those of you on SSI, SSDI, Veterans and Railroad Benefits still waiting for that stimulus check? Well, let's take a look at this article. Link in the description below just came out today and it reads, Stimulus Check. IRS says Social Security recipients should get checks on April 7th. And that is the new official date. And it says, after a delay in issuing checks to about 30 million Social Security and government program recipients, the IRS said that it has a date for when they will at last receive that $1,400 stimulus payment and that that is April 7th, so about a week away. Keep me posted, I hope you guys get it very soon. Let me know so that way I can celebrate with you. Now, fourth stimulus checks, monthly reoccurring stimulus checks, as you guys know, are being pushed and were heavily pushed yesterday as well. And what we're hearing is this could happen a lot faster than we expected. Now, if you'd have missed the video from yesterday, be sure to check it out right here where I covered the latest details as everything changed yesterday and stimulus checks are back on the table and could happen very fast. Now, let's take a look at an article that just came out yesterday describing the big push that happened. Link in the description below. This article says, Senate Democrats pushing Biden for fourth stimulus check in the form of monthly payments posted today at 11.32 a.m. And it says, according to Newsweek, 21 Democratic senators signed a letter sent to Biden on Tuesday yesterday calling on him to include reoccurring direct payments and automatic unemployment extensions as part of the next economic plan. Biden is expected to unveil the Build Back Better program Wednesday today during a stop in Pittsburgh, where he will discuss the details of his $3 trillion dollar plan. The plan is expected to include billions for infrastructure improvement, helping with manufacturing and tackling climate change. Now, in January, we saw 53 House Democrats send a similar letter to Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris that also pushed for monthly payments. Along with monthly payments, the senators are asking that automatic unemployment extensions also be included, but that both the monthly payments and the unemployment extensions be tied to economic conditions. So what they're saying is, as long as we're in this pandemic, we should be getting monthly stimulus checks and also extending out unemployment until this passes and providing this support to people in need during this time. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know a lot of people are skeptical saying this won't happen or if it does happen, what are the potential impacts to the economy? But as you can see right now, as of yesterday, 
there is still a massive push from Democrats to get this included. Now, the proposal for monthly checks is going to be $2,000 initially, then followed by monthly reoccurring checks all the way through the course of the pandemic, and then one year following as well, just to make sure that everybody's covered. Now, the monthly checks coming out, that's still kind of up in the air. We've heard some different reporting coming out, but some are saying it's gonna be a $2,000 monthly check throughout the pandemic, and then once it's officially over, you'll also receive a $1,000 monthly check for one year after. Now, some people are reporting you're gonna get $2,000 initially, and then throughout the pandemic and one year after, you'll only be receiving a $1,000 stimulus check. Now, as more information comes out, and if this comes to fruition, know that I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel, but they are proposing pushing monthly stimulus checks in the next stimulus package, which is expected to be unveiled today. Now, let's take a look at an article that actually gave us a little bit of leaked details as about what's going to be included in this package. And here's an article that just came out an hour ago from Fox. It says, what's in Biden's $2.25 trillion infrastructure and tax proposal? And what we're hearing is this is being broken up into two parts. So it's still very likely going to be up in the three to four trillion dollar range. But this first section, this first part is going to be $2.25 trillion. And it says, President Biden released a sprawling proposal to rebuild the nation's crumbling infrastructure and pump money into manufacturing, transportation, renewed energy, and combating climate change. A $2.25 trillion measure that will be funded largely by raising taxes on U.S. corporations. Biden is set to formally introduce the American Jobs Plan in Pittsburgh on Wednesday afternoon, his opening salvo in what expects to become a contentious month-long negotiation with Congress. Now, let's take a look at some of the things that have leaked out that we're expecting to see in this stimulus package. And it says, transportation. The plan calls for $620 billion in new spending on roads, bridges, rails, ports, waterways, airports, public transportation, and electric vehicles. Electric vehicles. The proposal also includes $174 billion to invest in electric vehicles, money the White House said will enable automakers to spur domestic supply chains from raw materials to parts, retool factories, and compete globally and support American workers to make batteries and EVs. Manufacturing. Biden will call on Congress to invest $300 billion to boost American manufacturing. Research and development. The measure also seeks to address future pandemic and includes $30 billion over four years to make major investments in medical countermeasures, manufacturing, research, and development, and related bio-preparedness and biodiversity. Clean water. The American Jobs Plan directs $111 billion to rebuild the nation's water infrastructure and would replace all of the lead pipes and service lines in order to improve children's health and that of communities of color. Schools. Biden is calling for $100 billion to build new public schools and upgrade existing buildings with better ventilation systems and indoor air quality. Broadband internet. The measure includes $100 billion to bring high-speed broadband internet to all Americans. Housing. The plan invests $213 billion to build more than 2 million affordable homes. It would also include tax credits to build housing for low-income families and $40 billion for public housing. Hospitals. Home care services. Biden would provide $400 billion to bolster caregiving for elderly and disabled Americans and would expand access to long-term care services through Medicare. Corporate tax increases. The proposal will raise the corporate tax rate to 28% from its current rate of 21%. Republicans dramatically cut the corporate tax rate in 2017 with the passage of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, slashing the rate paid by U.S. businesses from 35% down to 21%. International taxes. The plan would also impose a minimum tax on the profit U.S. corporations earn overseas, increasing the rate to 21% from about 13% paid by corporations right now. It will eliminate tax breaks for oil gas companies. Biden has called for eliminating special preferences for the fossil fuel industry, including oil and gas companies, and would require those companies to pay into the Superfund Trust Fund to help cover the costs of pollutant cleanups and IRS audits. Finally, the American Rescue Plan would provide additional funding to the IRS in order to ensure that the agency is able to increase tax audits on corporations. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. A lot is unfolding today. We're expecting to see this stimulus package unveiled here in just a couple of hours. And I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. Also, 
As we get more information regarding those stimulus checks, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And also, if you're looking for a side hustle to get money while you're waiting for Congress to pass these stimulus packages, be sure to check out this video right here where I cover the number one side hustle that I actually have years of experience on. And also, if you missed the video this morning where I covered the latest investment property that I picked up helping me get some extra passive income and you like to learn more about rental properties, cash flow, and one of the most affordable, good real estate cash flow markets to get into in 2021, be sure to check out that video right there. And you guys, like I said, I'll keep you up to date as more information rolls out here today here on the channel. And if you made it this far and you haven't already and you like and appreciate these updates, keeping you up to date, take a second to smash the like button. Helps me out a lot. Just takes a second. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if this is your first time here to stay up to date on everything rolling out. Follow me on Instagram at steveram3. And you guys, I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.